guys, it's Sarah. Today is Saturday, April 3rd, and I just want to start off this video by apologizing for two things. One is for the terrible lighting in here. It's 10.30 at night. Actually, it's 10.42 at night. So yeah, I don't have the sunlight coming through my window like I usually do. So I want to apologize for that. And then second thing I want to apologize for is that I haven't uploaded a video in over a week. I know I made that PowerPoint video, but I don't really consider that like a video video. But um, yeah, I've had a really bad migraine for like 12 days. Um, it's actually completely gone today. I'm sorry I'm messing with my eye. I have like a fuzz on my eyelash. Okay, gone, I think. Um, yeah, so I've had a really bad migraine for almost two weeks and it's completely gone today. So I'm really glad about that. So I figured I better make a video, better make a lot of videos before it comes back. So yeah, um, and actually the reason why I had the migraine is also the topic for this video, so worked out nicely but um if you see me glancing down here like this direction um I actually have my laptop sitting right there um yeah because I was recommended using it to keep myself on track since I tend to ramble a lot um yeah hold on okay sorry about that I don't know if you could hear it but um my dad was calling me out in the hallway, so I figured I should go out there and see what he wanted before he, like, barged in and totally ruined the video. But, um, excuse this for one second. I just want to make sure that my camera's actually recording after I pushed record. Yes, it is. So, we're good to go. Sorry about, like, the weird view. That was awkward. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Whatever, I can't edit it out because I still don't know how to edit things. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this video. And so yeah, the reason why I had the um, migraine is because I, stupid fuzz, fuzz, because I'm just started, not just started, but um, I'm on this medication called Accutane. I'm not sure if you guys are aware or familiar with it, but um, it's it was described to me by my dermatologist when I first started it as a cure for acne. So yeah. Um, that's what it is. I think there's like all different kinds of names for it, um, like brand names, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it might be called something else, like where you're from, or if you're on it, it might be called something else. But this is my fourth month of, on Accutane, and I have to do it for six total months. I know that um, like the like length that you have to be on it depends on like how bad your face is or how well um, you like subset to it is that right word I don't know like how well like it works for you that's a good way simple way okay um like how works how well it works for you so I know that has to do with how long you have to be on it but I was set for six months yeah but um it's prescription only so when I'm talking about these things don't like think that you can just like go out to Meyer or something and buy it it's not like a face wash it is by prescription only, so if you would like to start taking it, you need to make sure that you go see a dermatologist before because it is a serious, serious medication. Um, and I'm also not trying to like promote this, um, or I'm not trying to like bash it on the other like side of the spectrum. These are just my personal thoughts. I wanted to kind of get your guys' feedback. I wanted to put this out there for anybody who's going through this as well to like um, maybe have a little bit of like you're not alone. Um, also for me too, if you want to comment and let me know that I'm not alone. But um, yeah, so it, like I said, it is a really serious medication. Um, I have to get blood tests every month to check to like something about my liver or kidneys, I believe. Something, some internal organ, um, like it could be bad. So yeah, I have to get blood tests every month, which sucks because I hate needles with a passion. But whatever, you have to do what you have to do to take care of yourself, so. And then also, um, I have really dry skin. Like, my face is really dry, especially around, like, in my chin area. I have to moisturize that a lot. And then the rest of my face is just, like, pretty dry. But that's where it's the worst, is around here. So I moisturize my face at least three times a day with... I will actually go get what I moisturize with it. So I'm going to pause this again. I'm sorry for the second time. So I'll be back. Okay, so I went and grabbed um, what I use to moisturize my face and also my whole body. Um, it is called a Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for dry, sensitive skin. And this is like the big tub. I 
I think this is like my third tub that I've used since I started the medicine. But yeah, um, I'm going to get to it now because I'm rambling. This is has to be under 10 minutes. It has to. So yeah, I just have really dry skin and really dry lips. Really, really dry lips. Especially they crack in the corners like they are now. And then um, there's also like the emotional part. I get, I'm really emotional. Like I'll cry for no reason. No reason at all. I'll just start crying. I don't really know what's up with that. I was just checking the time to see how much time I had left. That's why I looked at my phone. Um, also, no eyebrow waxing, which is probably the worst part for me. Like, including the dry skin and the dry lips and everything. The no eyebrow waxing is probably the worst for me because I've been getting my eyebrows waxed since I was in seventh grade. So that's a big change for me, having to, like, tweeze them, which sucks. It sucks so much. But, yeah. Um, I don't know why. There we go. But overall, I am happy with the medication, even though there are some serious side effects and um, the with the blood drawing and everything. I am happy with it. Um, I have noticed a great, great difference in my face already, and I'm not even done with it. So I'm not, like, totally, you know, just depressed to be on it. I am happy that I'm on it because I would rather have to deal with these side effects than having to deal with my face the way it was because I was just really insecure with myself before I started this medication. But yeah, the main reason, like I said, I'm making this video is because I want your input. I want to be able to, like, talk to you guys about what I'm going through. So if you want to comment and let me know um, if you are on Accutane, if you've been on it, if you know someone that's on it. Um, also, if you have more questions, maybe I can help you um, by responding with more detailed information than what I'm putting in this video. Also, you can inbox message me if you don't feel comfortable talking about it through comments. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, if you want to make a video response of your like side effects or your thoughts on it, um, that would be great too. But mainly, I just want to know, like, have you been on Accutane? Did it work for you? Especially, did it work for you? Because I'm a little skeptical to see how it, how I will react after I get off the medication if my face will go back to the way it was before or if it will continue and I will have clear skin. So I'm really curious to see about that. Also, did you have like the same side effects that I mentioned or like were yours worse or did you have side effects at all? Um, I'd really like to get your guys' input on that. So yeah, comment or inbox message me with those things or video response. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. This is just a short, short little recap of what I'm going through right now. Um, yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I said yeah a lot in this past like 30 seconds, but I'm done with that. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.